Hey there guys, this is Jill Billingsley and today's video is about how I got fired and the harsh reality of the industry. If you want the longer extended version, I'm going to type it all out. I'll attach a couple photos and if you guys want, you can feel free to share it. Try to support me, get it out there, please. I would love that. And elsewise, I'm going to try to condense it down to about a three minute video. We shall see. And basically, it's all about how I worked for the International Lingerie Show. The client, Starline, hired me. And after working the first day where I thought it was problem free, it was really basic. All that's required is you just stand there in your lingerie, maybe mingle, know the price of it, not, not too crazy. But at the end of the day, after returning to my hotel, because it's in Vegas, and as you guys know, I live in LA right now, uh, at the end of the day, I return to the hotel and I get an email from my agency saying that uh, I'm being fired because I didn't quite fill out the lingerie. And it's crazy because it fit me perfect. Or so I thought. But the next day I followed up with my new friends and you can see the photo of my replacement, which I think goes to prove that I truly was let go because I didn't fill out the lingerie. Now for my vent. I hate how commonplace it is for people to have work done, for jobs to expect models to have had plastic surgery. Clearly here, they were going for a certain body type. And what's even crazier is they know what I look like. They saw my stats. They saw my composite card. There is nothing I'm hiding there. I don't claim to have a double D chest. But the standard of beauty isn't what it once was. The standard of beauty now is like a Bratz doll with tits. You know, as small nose as you get, and just the most unrealistic thing. Whatever happened to the girl next door, that obviously beautiful but average and approachable at the same time, I kind of miss that. I'm scared for when I have kids that I'm going to have a cute little girl at the age of 14 or 16 come to me being like, Mom, I don't like my nose, I don't like my boobs, and my friends are saving up money, can you get work done for me? And how am I supposed to be the one who says, you need to learn to accept you for who you are, even though 90% of the women out there don't. I expect you to be better than that. And I'm all I'm used to is hearing what's wrong about me. So I already kind of have that warped version of self-worth or lack thereof. How am I supposed to encourage my little girl to be different than everybody else? And you know, I'm saying 90% because I'm thinking into the future. Who knows? One of the only things I was comfortable with myself about were my breasts, because who cares? I'm a girl and at least I've got something. I figure that's good enough. There was a moment while working the show where the three other girls are telling me all the cosmetic surgeries that they've had done. They've all had boob jobs done and one of them was inquiring about a doctor that does nose jobs while the other two are saving money for their second round of boob jobs, which I don't understand. And then they all kind of look up at me as if to be like, you know, what do you want done? Like your time to share in this circle. And I make a joke, I look down and I'm like, maybe today's earnings can just get me a tensor bandage so I could wrap these babies up and people focus on what's important about me. And it really didn't go over well. I maybe didn't choose the right crowd to joke around with, but back to the point. Everybody has their highs and lows and my ego was bruised and I cried it out for quite a while because that was two months worth of rent. They were supposed to cover travel expenses and because I asked the agency about that, there is a contract and everything. So it should be like pretty like straightforward. The agency thought I was difficult and let me go. And I just thought it was like, I was losing out all the way around. I lost two days of travel. I lost a day of working essentially for free for a wash and I'm never gonna support Starline agency or not, things don't always go according to plan. And I was kind of making this video, uh, just a venting video because I'm mad, but I'm going to make it a motivational thing. You guys have to persevere. Even the people who have been doing this a long time and are used to hearing bad things or have thick skin can still be hurt. So for all you models that keep hearing, no, please just keep going for it. Everybody has a different definition of what is beautiful and just keep trying out there. 
I thought maybe after this job that my image was kind of done with for lingerie and I should keep focusing on commercial aspects of this industry. And I had a great photographer friend of mine that hired me for, uh, well, she's now a friend, she wasn't initially, hired me for a lingerie shoot that kind of just gave my attitude a 180 and I love her for it. I'll uh, attach a picture here so you kind of can see her work. And she made me feel really beautiful about myself. I just feel like for every naysayer, you need like one positive thing and hopefully that can cancel it out. And even after this, next month, I'm shooting a campaign for swimwear. So hopefully you guys can check that out. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Comment down below, uh, like, go add my Instagram, add that at Jill Billingsley. Go check out my website if you want some more like little motivational quotes and cute things, more videos. And uh, on anything else, add me on everything. If I'm missing anything, just make up a fake account and do it for me. Thanks, guys. Bye. Moral of the story, don't take shit from anyone.